come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique but I heard insane stories about Rachel. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Sorry, I have to get back to my portfolio. No time for amateurs. No offense, Max. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. I don't want to go that way.
so bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I hope I made the right decision about the petition. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Hi. 
Hi, Miss Grant. Ex sure, I always have time for you. What's the... David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a no... Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework... Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for... Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? No. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. No. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since yeah. you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. No. So do you understand English? Get lost. I missed something. I better rewind.
Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's see if this works. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Sure. 
Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Okay. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Uh, hey, Victoria. What I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. No. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Awesome. I hope me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was me, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Juliet, extreme reporter. I was going to be pissed we took so long. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. They live. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. 
Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I am born makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, you why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max! I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Ugh. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Juliet, extreme reporter. <clears throat> no need to go there now. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. <gasps> Welcome to Black Hill. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Warren makes me laugh. I am so addicted to this sight. Look at these vintage beauties. Oh. 
Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my... It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? At least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. I'll give Victoria props for not posting Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This isn't even recycled paper. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. 
Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost Thing done. Is still a cheerleader Get the flash heart. drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. This is both sad and pathetic. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit! <clears throat> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So, I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different.
Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Max, get your ass over here. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? 
I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! 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 Ah! 